So a very warm welcome to our esteemed guest, Sia Mahima Vacharajani, who is a news anchor and equity research analyst at NDTV Profit. Hello, Mahima. I, Purva Shah, Joint Secretary, on behalf of Vadodara branch of Vikasa, is honored to host you for the monthly podcast organized by Vadodara branch of Vikasa. Thank you, Purva. Well, this is a wonderful initiative. I Kunal Sevi talked about Kunal and I'm very happy that Vikasa Baroda is doing something uh, you know, different and um, something which the other branches are not doing. So, kudos to the team. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. So, to jam up today's session, can you yeah. shed some light on the new term in the market, influencer? And since majority of our viewers belong from the CA fraternity, what wider opportunity it holds for us? Okay. So, um, firstly, when I'm asked, you know, about the the Instagram reels that I make, I don't like to be called a influencer. Okay. I like to be called as a content creator because to right. be honest, I'm not influencing anybody. Uh, I might be influencing in some way or the other, but uh, it's more of, you know, putting in effort towards, you know, um, helping people gain knowledge, helping people gain financial literacy. Right. So I'd rather call it uh, content creator, okay? So now, um, if in terms of what CAs can do, like I've seen in the past two years, a lot of CAs coming up and, you know, um, becoming content creators now. Uh, recently, I see I maybe Delhi May conference host, kya tha, where, right, you know, right. called all the creators together and they wanted to, you know, do something when it comes to spreading financial literacy. So I just, as a chartered accountant, I've always felt that, you know, we, we have immense knowledge when it comes to financial literacy. Whereas, you know, I've, I've kept, I've said this N number of times when I was studying for my CA, I saw that, you know, people in my library who were doctors, engineers, people studying for UPSC, they did not know anything when it came to, you know, investing, when it came to where to put their money or how to double their money. So I think it, it's more of a responsibility, I'd say, that being a chartered accountant, everybody should do this. Now, content creator does not necessarily mean that, you know, you start making real. You know, simple things like you know, posting on Twitter or making a LinkedIn post about whatever you have learned. Just, you know, sharing the knowledge that you have so that people can benefit out of this. Um, that is basically content creation. And I would I would be more than happy if more and more CAs take up this because, uh, you know, it's not just, um, uh, you know, in terms of spreading knowledge. But to be very honest, content creation has literally like, got me to a place where I've always wanted to be. Like being a chartered accountant, I never thought that I, I'll go to a news channel, you know, make it to NDTV profit and be an yes. anchor there, right? So something like this has made something like this possible. So, I mean, be it, you know, dreaming of being on TV or, you know, if you want to grow your own business, you need an audience to whom you'll be selling all of these courses or products mm. or whatever you want, right? So for that and plus, of course, personal brand building, that is a must if you want to do something in life. Agreed. Right? agreed. So that is where, yeah, that is where content creation will take you. To. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Moving on, as we know that you are an equity research analyst. So yeah. can you brief us about your work profile yeah. and give us a rough idea about your job role? Okay, so um, I joined NETV Profit as a as an equity research analyst. So basically, what we do is day in and day out figure out how the markets are going to work, how the markets are going to pan out to be. I personally track the consumption sector, the FMCG sector. So so we have a you know team of analysts who track different sectors. So my choice was to track the consumption sector because I am interested in the FMCG sector. So I track companies like HUL, Marico, Dabur, ITC, etc. Plus, I also track the retail side. So, uh, basically, what comes down to researching means that how the stock has been performing. If the stock moves upward or downwards, what is the reason for that particularly? Whatever news flow comes in, comes around the particular company, we're supposed to analyze that. Plus, of course, we do, as a chartered accountant, you know, you, you always play with numbers. So, we always... Um, go back to quarterly results, yearly results, annual reports, see how the debt is panning out to be, see how the cash flows are working, see how the four main, uh, in fact, uh, parameters that we assess is revenue, your EBITDA, your EBITDA margins, and your PAT. So top line, bottom line always matters for a company. If the company is not making revenues, not making profits, 
no point of investing in the company altogether right yes. so this is the brief of what i do there and apart from that you know um we have managements coming from various companies we so we try to interview them we try to understand where the company is going so that from an investor perspective the investor comes to know whether to, uh, you know going forward should you invest in this particular company or not right yeah Yes, so basically you are giving a practical approach to to the CA curriculum, right? Correct. Not really. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Like every job will do that, you know. At the end of the day, every job will have some or the other practical aspect. But um, it's more towards you know, um, from from an investor point of view, ki you know whether kal uth ke mujhe stock mein invest karna hai ki nahi karna. Hai. I'm I'm sh- I'm hundred percent uh sure of this that you know we we. Learn all of this in FM, for example, like in final yes. for sure. But you know, like you said, you know, we're practically putting it into practice. So yeah, you're right. I mean, we are doing that now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Extending this, what according to you it takes to land up in big corporates, and on the same note, what generic mistakes do candidates make these days, which often leads to rejection or not getting absorbed? Okay. Big corporates. Um, पहले तो my suggestion would be के please concentrate on your exams, the two years of articleship you have. Um, you know, I I'll be very honest with you. Yeah. I did not clear in first attempt, where I really regretted because if I had cleared in first attempt, I I did my internship with uh like industrial training with HUL, I would have easily got into HUL. But uh, because I was not a first attempt uh chartered accountant, um. i could not get into hr right so my first advice first and foremost advice to every student who's doing ca and wants to you know get into a big corporate big names uh, big mncs my first um, request to them would be that concentrate on your studies and try ki aapka first attempt mein nikal jaye theek hai this is the first first mistake that i made which i'll not want anybody else to make okay but then okay theek hai attempt lag gaya to kya um second thing what i did was um you know for, like if i like if i take the example of any tv profit um i i was very lucky to have a good friend who used to work with bq prime so any tv profit was bq prime before and um he gave my cv to a friend and that's how you know the interview took place but uh, from what i know that you know people um who have you know got into any tv profit they have made a lot of cold messages on linkedin cold emails to any tv profit so uh, to everybody who wants to get into a good mnc what my suggestion would be linkedin profile to sabki honi hi chahiye pehle tum se ho na that is on a boom see. right now yeah yeah you have to have an like a linkedin profile and um, jo bhi mnc jo bhi mnc ya corporate mein aapko jana hai to first of all ट्रैक के उनके एच आर कौन है ट्रैक की उनके वहां पे बेसिक लेवल पे लाइक फाइनेंस मैनेजर या जो भी है उन, उन लेवल्स पे कौन है आई वुड सजेस्ट कि लिंक पे हमेशा रिक्वेस्ट भेजने से पहले यू नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव प्रीमियम अकाउंट्स यू कैन डायरेक्टली सेंड देम अ रिक्वेस्ट बट देर इज एन ऑप्शन ऑफ यू नो सेंडिंग अ मैसेज एंड कनेक्शन रिक्वेस्ट सो आई हैव ऑलवेज डन दिस अदरवाइज ऑल्सो आई हैव ऑलवेज मैसेज दैम uh find out one particular thing about that person go through his feed what are his interests you know talk to him about his interests start the message with you know this you and me have this thing in common i would really like to get in touch with you and then form your message in a way ki bhai you know i want to get into your organization and uh, these are my area of interest and show why are you in- interested in this particular organization what role are you interested in and then if they if they have any kind of job openings uh they will definitely get back to you and you know what i've seen like a friend of mine who's really good at doing this got into google like this um he used to cold email cold message lot of people in google and one fine day he actually got a call from google saying that you know enough of your cold emails and messages but we are very impressed with the enthusiasm that you've showed you know to join the organization that how he got an interview for google so my my first and foremost uh, you know advice would be that don't be ashamed don't think that you know you're harassing somebody it's okay to drop a cold email a cold message yes. every month every 15 days that's completely fine that's how these things work people don't see your messages for long it's okay you can do that okay 
and then coming to mistakes i think um i think this this is the one mistake that i really feel uh, you know the ca final attempt thing and secondly i think uh, people nowadays from what i've understood is that you know um, the aspirations that people have have become very high you know even as a content creator i've seen that you know um people are seeing quick money and they want to like get success there and then you know cake tal very well said yeah you know that is a mistake you're making if you have that kind of approach from what i've seen is you will always uh, be disappointed with yourself you know no matter where you are and uh, this is from the experience because i was one of them i always used to feel ki nahi this is less for me this is less for me but no you have to stop somewhere appreciate where you are and uh, you know thank your stars your god who you believe in for where you are today so i think these are the learnings that uh, everybody must keep in mind yes yeah. ma'am carrying on for what you said about industrial training there has been an uptrend in the likeliness of students towards industrial training do you think it is advisable in the new scheme of education and training introduced by icai right so purva like we were talking um i i understood from you only that you know new scheme now has two years of articleship instead yeah. of three years used to have three years so jab three years tha na tab to my advice was ki you should everybody should uh, aspire for one year of industrial training sab ye bolenge ki are they don't give chutti and all theek hai yaar you take three months four months ka chutti if you are well prepared in advance three months four months chutti is more than enough to study ठीक है सो थ्री मंथ थ्री इयर्स था तब तो ये मेरा एडवाइस था ही बट नाउ यू विल नॉट यू नो वांट टू वर्क विद अ कॉर्पोरेट देन आई वुड से इट्स ओके इफ यू डोंट डू एन इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रेनिंग बट समबडी हु एस्पायर्स टू बी यू नो अ पार्ट ऑफ अ बिग एमएनसी और अ बिग कॉर्पोरेट आई वुड हाईली रेकमेंड दैट यू नो यू मस्ट गो एंड डू वन ईयर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रेनिंग नाउ आई टेल यू व्हाई सो you know when i did my articleship i learned a lot i mean kcm has taught me a lot of things in my articleship okay but when i went to hul what i realized is that uh, you know there are some things that are very different uh, in corporates you know yeah. very simple things something like you know just having a conversation with your colleague or your senior by you know saying that hey have do, do you have time to talk to me or something like is this a good time to talk simple simple communication techniques uh, se leke you know the finishing of work that you require mm. the kind of attitude you need to work at a corporate you know it will not be like ke ha tumhe abhi tumhare principal protect kar rahe ke ha chalo tum ja ke pad lo that is not happening in this shape you in a way working, yeah 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 they prepare you like uh, inside out for you know what is coming for you once you are a chartered accountant i right. remember i was working for um, hul when uh, you know their financial results were supposed to come out the next day and i was working in the office for till 4 am in the morning like it was it was insane you know so they prepare yeah. you for um, any kind of um, hour situation so that is something so they so in that one year from what i feel is this is my experience of course that uh, that one year really groomed me as to you know i was i was completely ready once i was a chartered accountant to enter a corporate i knew ki mujhe kisse kaise baat karni hai i knew what kind of office politics are there i knew ki you know whom to trust whom not to trust and plus uh, my manager i was lucky enough to have a wonderful manager at hul so um, he taught me a lot of leadership skills as well you know he was very particular as to what work he has to take and when he has to take you know it's very important when you're in a corporate you have to like prioritize ki kya kaam kab karna hai so he was very particular when it came to you know ki ha abhi ye karunga ye bhi urgent hai ye bhi urgent hai but this work is more urgent i'll do this abhi i'll yeah. do this tomorrow so he had he taught me how to prioritize your work so all of these things i think uh, with only corporates can teach you so that make your industry you ready to, definitely definitely so if you are aiming for uh, you know getting a job in a corporate um, mnc or something then i would highly recommend that you should go for industry training yes definitely very much agreed yeah yeah yes ma'am before we move towards the rapid fire round can you give our viewers a small piece of advice regarding investing 
regarding investing okay so this is very interesting you know um, wherever i go and address the audience a lot of people ask me this theek hai ki ma'am ek advice de do in terms of investing and usually what they expect is tip which is not something that i give okay but um, aajkal ki jo generation hai na usme uh, meri ek hi advice hai ki bahut log aise na ke piche bhag rahe when it comes to investing or trading or whatever money. you call it quick money to and trust me fno is the worst thing worst thing to do like even after i i mean i know people who are so well versed with the markets and still making losses in fno right. okay to tum jinko market ki koi knowledge nahi hai tum seedha fno trade karne ja rahe ho that is just ridiculous like every time you open grow or zerodha they show you that you know 9 out of 10 traders make losses in fno yeah. so my first and foremost advice to you would be do not trade in fnos do not start at least with fnos right okay and secondly uh, investing i would suggest uh, that you know start investing as early as possible now this is not something that we don't know but despite of uh, you know people preaching this day in and day out nobody follows this um i remember when i was in my article ship article ship ke kya is type hote the 4000 5000 6000 right so Whatever I used to save from that, I've made sure that you know, कुछ तो at least हजार रुपए की ऐसा है कि तो हजार रुपए की ऐसा भी चल रही है. That's small, yeah. ठीक है. Even this, I I would say, अगर सौ रुपए भी बच रहे हैं ना, तो वो सौ रुपए भी invest करो, because the power of compounding is insane. You yeah. have, you will not realize this now, but ten years down the line, you'll realize कि अरे यार ये सौ रुपए जाके कहाँ, you know, it will make sense later on. Yeah. Absolutely. so my yeah. of course my advice would be start investing as early as possible and um you know to make uh, investing more interesting and to you know to invest more money i would say that uh, to everybody that sirf job karke don't be happy always have a side hustle as an income on. multiple sources of income yeah as multiple sources i no matter how your jo- how difficult your job is my advice to everybody would be that something or the other main any bol rahi hu ki tum usse bhi lakh rupaye kamao but even if you are making 20000 30000 those those 20000 30000 are your savings company you will be Agreed. able to save 20000 a month which will lead to a lot of money in the future yes right so this is my one advice to everybody who is a chartered accountant or a ca student agree that yes Ma'am, before we wrap up today's lovely session, we have prepared a okay. small rapid fire round for you. Okay. So, yes, starting off, top emerging industry. Top emerging industry. Well, with the uh, elections coming in, I think defense, railways, infrastructure, all of these industries are booming. Yes. Your three favorite financial ratios. My three favorite. Okay. I always check um your net debt to EBITDA one thing, second uh your profit to sales whatever is the percentage, uh, and the third thing is I'll always check the liquidity of the company. One finance book you like? I really like Psychology of Money only because it it has taught me so much. Like the way I used to think, you know, he um quick money jo aana chahiye pata pata. that book has completely changed my perspective so yeah this is one book that i recommend everybody yeah. equity or sib for students for students sib for sure you don't know how to invest in equity so please don't do that <laughs> any one underdog sector underdog sector chemicals right now for sure rent versus buy a house rent versus buy a house is a very debatable thing so it completely depends on the situation you are in right. but if you are living in a city like mumbai i would always say rent a house because it's insane the prices here are insane yeah. but if you have extra income and if you want a house of your own i will not say that don't buy a house one reason why today's gen z should save money oh because today's gen z is very frivolous when it comes to me okay i'm not a gen z probably but uh, my brothers are gen z you know people around me are gen z and they're very frivolous when it comes to spending money because you know uh, all of us have been pampered by our parents and we we received all of these brands and everything so definitely this is the reason why every gen z should save money <laughs> suggest one improvement in ca curriculum um 
with the new curriculum i don't think there is any suggestion from my end because the new curriculum is exclusive i mean it's it's wonderful the way they have introduced um new subjects like psychology and everything in the curriculum it's brilliant i wish i was a student at this point of time so i don't think i would uh, want anything to change just one little thing is um uh, what they can incorporate in a better way is uh the gmcs trainings and the it trainings that take place better faculties could be assigned yeah that's improving right now yes oh that's so, wonderful yeah if you have your own startup what would it be my own startup oh okay <laughs> um i would uh, definitely start something related to public speaking i've always seen that you know people are not very well um versed with when it comes to speaking on the stage um yes. i've seen a good professionals fumble and um, you know just just not doing well on the stage so this is something that i would really work towards real estate or gold real estate for sure uh gold is also booming but uh, real estate is booming at a different level so yeah. at present real estate and lastly first stock that you had bought first stock that you had bought first stock that I, oh the first stock that i bought was reliance because i did not know back then kya buy karna chahiye abhi reliance bahut expensive hai uh. but it the fundamentally strong stock it's never going to go down so yeah reliance was yeah. the first stock that i bought yes wonderful ma'am well this has been short yet very insightful session i enjoyed a lot and i am sure that our viewers would love it thank you ma'am right, thank you. the entire team of varudra branch of vikas and looks forward for many more such sessions with you yeah actually you. you guys are doing a great job keep it up it was my pleasure to you know have the first first podcast with a branch that i you know i i associate to varudra branch it's like it's it has a special place in my heart so we have privilege so to host you oh, no, thank you so much for having me